Hey, welcome to day two of this three-day spooktacathon. Today, I'm going to be recreating the book from Hocus Pocus. Now, over the years, I had this journal, and it's all adventure -y. It's super fun, and obviously, it's pretty filled up. So I'm moving on to another one, and that will be this lovely Hocus Pocus book. I had a lot of fun making it. It turned out so well, and I hope you enjoy it. So let's get into it. Okay, to start off, we're gonna make some paper pulp, and to do so, we just shred some newspaper, let it soak in some water, set it aside. Now I'm taking paper towel, dipping it in the coffee to give it a darker, more aged appearance. This will end up being our cover, and then after that I'm taking epoxy sculpt, one part epoxy, two parts sculpt. Okay, I'm kidding, it's one in one. Anyways, I'm making the clasp for the front of the book, and it took me three tries, but hey, third time's the charm. Once I got the shape I wanted, I attached it to the hinge, and then I took a nail and put in the finer details, and then after that's all said and done, I set it aside to dry. Now I'm taking five nails, bending the edges of it, and then putting those in epoxy sculpt to make our back clasp, but then I realized, hey, I only needed four. Then after that, to make the connector piece between the two hinges, I take the leather strap, cut it into threes, wet it down, braid it, and then set it aside to dry so that it's set in place once it is dry. Now all of our little elements are set and done. I am now making the paper pulp, so I strained it out and then I put Elmer's glue in there, mixed it all together, made the spine of the book, and now I'm taking an old part of a sketchbook and making the base for our snakes. Now I'm taking the rest of the epoxy sculpt, mixing that all together, and for the longer snakes I'm taking some tin foil just to conserve the sculpt and also just give me something to follow, so I'm taking that and just putting the epoxy sculpt on top of it. Then after I get that all shaped out, I'm taking paper towel and I'm pressing it into the sculpt just to give it a more textured, scaly appearance. Now I'm going in for the corner pieces and mixing up the sculpt and then doing the good old pretzel trick. I, I don't know what the trick is, but anyways, it's a pretzel, basically. Now I did all those, set those aside, and now I'm putting the heads on to each of our four snakes. And then giving them some eyebrows and setting those aside to dry. Now I'm sanding down our back claw and super gluing the hinge down and the wire that we're gonna wrap around it later. And now I'm taking these little they're, they're supposed to be like paper clips or something, but I'm taking those and I'm putting them on the ends of our middle piece, and this way it'll be easier to assemble the whole thing in the end, and I'm just super gluing that down. Now I'm going in with some black paint just for a base coat for all of our little snake pieces. Then after that I'm mixing some brown paint, painting our whole book so that it's one nice solid color. After that, I'm painting our hinge and repainting the snakes a little bit. Now I'm wrapping around this metal wire. It's very flexible, so it was really easy to wrap everything around. Just had to get it placed right, and once I got to a point where I was happy with how it looked, I hammered down the palm of it so that it would lay flat on the book, and then after this, I am taking super glue and I'm super gluing the hinge to the bottom part of our claw clasp. Now I'm going in with some silver paint and the reason why I started off with black as the base coat is so that the silver would pop more and I'm just going over all of our little pieces that are supposed to be silver. Then after this, I'm taking some super glue, gluing down the snakes, just because I didn't trust the snakes to hold onto the, the cardboard with just the epoxy sculpt. Now I'm going over our little fingers with our paper towel and just some Elmer's glue, giving it the old Mod Podge treatment, but with Elmer's glue. Then I'm kind of sketching out how I want the book to look, giving our 
eye clasp, a little nail polish, and originally I was gonna just go in and fold the paper to give it the crease, but then I found out that didn't work. So now I'm going in with just the paper pulp, and I'm shaping it all out, opening the book, and getting the front edge of the cover. And the reason why I'm putting the snakes down is just to make sure everything's mapped out all right, because this is a journal, it's not a, an exact replica of the book, otherwise I would have a much larger book. Now I'm going in with a wire to make it two halves of one hole so that it looks like a seam and less like just a mound of paper. So after I get all of those creases in, I go in with the Elmer's glue just to flatten everything down, smooth it out, make sure it's all stuck to the book. And then once this dries, I'm gonna go in, super glue our jewel into our eye clasp, and then I'm painting this all a lighter shade of brown, just because I want the paper towel to set on there right. And then, of course, I went in with paper pulp, got our little eye socket, and then the way I'm doing this is I'm taking water, I'm watering down the area, and then putting some glue down, putting down the paper towel, watering down the paper towel, and then putting the glue down again. And then I'm just tearing along the edges, and that way it doesn't overlap onto another side, and it doesn't look weird. And so in the end, it'll look like it's sewn together. Now I'm just going in with the paper towel, getting it all covered all throughout the book, just repeating the same process over and over again. And then after we have our creases done, I go in with the wire and I reset the crease just so that it's all nice and and deep like it's supposed to be and not just pushed over with the paper towel. Okay, now I'm going in with the snakes and I'm just putting in the red eyes, touching up any imperfections that I see along the way. and then making sure everything is set in place to get both of the class put together. Then I'm just painting over the edges and I'm going in with a dark um, brown and I'm watering it down and then painting over the entire book. That way the paint will really get into those creases, making it look more aged. And then I'm going into our sewing crease with a watered down black, giving that more depth, and then just making sure I get all the little intricate details. And now for the fun part, sewing it together, kind of. I'm taking a needle and thread and then just using jewelry pliers to push the needle through and then pulling it out and making sure it's all tight. And then once I get to a stopping point, I go and I tie it off and then just start again. This was a very tedious process, probably the most tedious process out of the entire book. And so I'm just showing you how I did one section of it and then we will move on to something else because I obviously I turned off the camera to finish the rest of it. It took forever. Okay, now that all our little seams are sewed, I am gluing down all of our little aspects of the book, all the snakes and the clasp. I'm using E6000 glue or super glue, just depending on what I'm gluing down. And now I'm going in with liquid latex to make the eyelid for our nice little Hocus Pocus book. After that, I'm touching up some things that I, I realized I missed. Don't know how! but it happens, and I'm just layering the latex on so that it'll have a, a more raised appearance. Then I'm going in with this button clasp using super glue and just gluing it down to where I want it so that our overall clasp will sit where it's supposed to be. After this dries, um, I'm going in with a lighter paint and then just layering on the darker and darker until I get it 
to how I want it. And then after that, I'm going in with E6000 glue, going around the edges of our clasp just to make sure it's super secure. And now our Hocus Pocus book is officially done. It is so cool. I'm happy with how it turned out and it's super creepy. It's gonna be an awesome journal. I can't wait to fill it up. And if you have anything else that you would like me to try, uh, a doll, a journal, a painting, or something new, let me know in the comments below. And as always, I will see you next time.